just, there's nowhere to go. So. <laughs> so a few years ago, I put out a, a record called Music for Vacuuming, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, ever since I was 18, I wanted to put out an album called Music for Vacuuming. And I never had the nerve to do it. Because I was always signed to a, a record deal, and, you know, I, f I figured they'd never go for it, you know. In fact, I got a lot of, uh, got a lot of grief from the, the last sort of real record deal I had before the internet hit, um, before Napster hit, really. Um, this label I was with called Narada. Um, it was a, it was cool because it was very international. It was, the record was released in like places like Poland and Mexico and all these weird places, and it was awesome, and um, got me gigs all over the world. And then you know, then Sean Fanning did his thing, and that was the end of that. Um, but uh, so the record label no longer exists. But um, for the three records I did with them. Um, they, they kind of meddled with the artwork a lot, you know. I, I really like album covers. I grew up, you know, with the big vinyl, and I've got vinyl records here, by the way. Uh, big vinyl records, lots of credits. You could find out, you know, who co-produced the bass drum track on song number seven, and, you know, who co-produced the outtakes that you can't hear, and all that kind of, you know, st stupid Nimrod stuff. Anyway, um, so, Album covers are important, I think. You know, they, they sort of say something or nothing about your music. Most of the time, mine say nothing about the music, which is also a statement. That's cool, you know. And uh, so I, because I'm tired, I was, I, was, I was with all these labels, and then finally um, uh, the Candy Rat people sort of approached me about putting out the first Candy Rat album. And I, I thought, well, that's nice. And I said, well, can I just do whatever I want? And they said, yeah. And I said, well, that's different. And uh, so I said, I... I want to name the album Music for Vacuuming. And Rob said, sure. <laughs> I went, all right. This new world rocks. And uh, I put a picture of a flying saucer on the cover. <laughs> so there you go. You do the math. But um, the cool thing is, OK, there's a lot of German speakers here tonight. The cool thing about Music for Vacuuming is the translation into German is Musik für Staubsaugen which is maybe the best thing ever, because Staubsaugen, literally translated back through Google Translate into English, is dust sucking. <laughs> which is the best thing to call anything ever. <laughs> so, I mean, seriously. English speakers should just break down and call it dust sucking. It makes way more sense than vacuuming or hoovering or whatever you call it. Dust, it that's what you're doing. You're sucking dust. Okay, with a machine that that rocks. In fact, it sounds kind of cool. It sounds like a thing you want to do, and I and, and I think I think if we called it in English, if we called it dust sucking, that it would be very easy to convince men to help with the tidying more often. Yeah, because that's it sounds badass. It sounds like like you know like Bill, you're gonna come over and watch the football game. Fuck you, I'm dust sucking. Sucking dust, yeah. Stupid football game. So, so on this uh, stupidly named album, I did this very tender, very tender uh, ballad tune to my wife. It's called Brooks Miller. Uh, it's called Brooks Waltz. Her name is Brooke Miller. It's called Brooks Waltz. Wow. I should never have a glass of wine before I come on stage. <laughs> She'll like that outtake.
Vielen, vielen Dank. Merci beaucoup. Thanks very much. Have a great night. Thanks also to Janae Lieb, Thomas Lieb, Mike Dawes, and Mickey, thanks very much for playing the opening act. See you soon.